Most people tend to think of scientists and science as a bunch of people walking around in lab coats, juggling test tubes. But the truth is, science has been with us for millennia in one form or another and has transformed the very foundations of human civilization and society. Without it, we would still be wearing loincloths and hunting with spears. So to pay proper tribute to the contributions of science, we bring you the 10 most important scientific discoveries of all time. Although modern atomic theory is best attributed to the English scientist and chemist John Dalton, the precursor to our modern conception of the atom is far older. In fact, it goes back to ancient Greek times. Leucippus of Miletus and his student Democritus of Abdera proposed their own atomic theory in the 5th century BCE, suggesting that objects were made up of indivisible and indestructible particles. While not in line with modern atomic theory, these thinkers were clearly ahead of the game for their time. Modern atomic theory was formulated by John Dalton, who published a book in 1808 on the atmosphere and the behavior of gases, where he laid out a refined atomic theory that serves as its basis, even today. It consisted of four basic ideas. Chemical elements were composed of atoms. The atoms of an element were identical in weight. The atoms of different elements had different weights and atoms combined only in small whole number ratios such as 1 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 1, 2 to 3 to form compounds. Thanks to this incredible discovery, we now understand the inner workings of matter, even going so far as the subatomic level. We take the existence of bacteria for granted these days and even use such daily products as mouthwash to get rid of them. But bacteria were not always taken for granted. In fact, the knowledge of their existence is a fairly recent thing, and we have to thank the Dutch scientist Antony van Leeuwenhoek for their discovery in the 17th century. Antony discovered protozoa, single-celled organisms he referred to as animalcules, or little animals in Latin. He made refinements to the primitive microscope of his time, improving it and creating the modern basis for the microscope, creating the foundations of modern microbiology, which is why Van Leeuwenhoek is sometimes referred to as the father of microbiology. Without this important discovery, all the science and medicine that revolves around bacteria, including but not limited to penicillin and other antibiotics, would not exist. If you've ever been to the doctor's office, you might have seen the big poster of the human body with all the bones, muscles, and organs mapped out. And it might be easy enough to assume that putting that visual image together was a simple thing to do but you would be very, very wrong. A modern understanding of anatomy is essential across multiple fields and subfields of medicine, ranging from diverse forms of surgery to cardiology, neurology, and many, many more. But the precise understanding we have today and take for granted was not always with us. In fact, the path to get us there started long ago in ancient Greece. The Greek anatomist, Herophilus, is known as the father of anatomy and was born in the fourth century BCE. He has been recognized as the first person to perform systematic dissections of the human body and was even accused of performing vivisections on living human beings. Nevertheless, his discoveries spanned the breadth and width of human anatomy and resulted in detailed knowledge of the nervous system, the eye, reproductive system, cardiovascular system, digestive system, and more. His work was stored in the now mythical Library of Alexandria which was unfortunately destroyed by multiple fires, but because of his fame and reputation, his knowledge was passed down to future generations with great precision, and thus each person to come out of the operating room today owes him a great debt. There probably isn't anything out there that is easier to take for granted than gravity, which in the most unscientific of terms is the observation that things fall down. Indeed, even people prior to the modern formulation of the theory of gravity passively had to acknowledge his existence. But one man rose above the rest in mapping out an actual theory that explains gravity. His name was Sir Isaac Newton. When not engaging in biblical exegesis and the workings of his alchemy, Sir Isaac Newton made some of the most important contributions to our understanding of the physical universe. The laws of universal gravitation, as formulated by Newton, state that a particle attracts every other particle in the universe using a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses 
and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. This forms the essence of classical Newtonian mechanics and is the bedrock of modern physics. And consequently, everything from diverse branches of engineering to flight and every invention in between that must incorporate a modern understanding of gravitation. Without Newton's important contribution, we would likely be living without modern buildings, airplanes, and much, much more. The modern world is characterized by the wide scale and massive use of gadgets appliances and equipment that all require the use of electricity. Without understanding what electricity is and how to harness it, there would be no modern world. And we have one man to thank for that. Michael Faraday was an English scientist who lived in the 19th century and studied electromagnetism. Largely self-taught as he had received little formal education, Faraday's greatest contribution was probably his establishment of the electromagnetic field, which is a core concept in physics. He also invented the electromagnetic rotary device that served as the basis of electric motor technology, without which we would not have the means of utilizing electricity for the world as we have come to know. Faraday is such an important figure that Einstein had a picture of him hanging in his study alongside Newton to commemorate his important contributions. Speaking of Einstein, no discussion of important scientific discoveries would be complete without mentioning the theory of relativity, which simply put, states that the speed of light always remains the same, 186,000 miles per second, regardless of how fast someone or something is moving toward or away from it. It seems a trivial observation, but there is much more to it because within its simplicity were the ideas that would later serve to help physicists understand principles such as the expansion of the universe, also called cosmic inflation, and even the completely theoretical possibility of time travel. The theory of relativity was truly a game changer for physics. Anyone who's been to high school will either take the periodic table from chemistry class for granted or will yawn from boredom, but the importance of this discovery cannot be denied as it laid down the very foundations of modern chemistry and subsequently everything done in the field of chemistry. The Russian chemist Dmitry Mendeleev was the first scientist to publish the periodic table based on his own work and that of others such as John Newlands and Anton Lewet de Lavoisier. The periodic table consists of all the chemical elements that are known and they are arranged and organized on the table according to their electron configurations, atomic numbers and their recurring chemical properties. The order in which the elements are presented on the table corresponds to their atomic number. Without this arrangement, it would be very difficult to conduct experiments or understand anything in chemistry, and consequently, all the discoveries and inventions based on a modern understanding of chemistry would probably not exist. For most of the history of the West, knowledge of astronomy and the structure and shape of the celestial bodies was dominated by what is referred to as the Ptolemaic model, which was a planetary system proposed by the Hellenic scientist Ptolemy in the second century CE. The Ptolemaic model presupposed that the celestial bodies or planets, including the star we call the sun, revolved around the earth. He arrived at this conclusion by poor observation, but his model was preeminent until the arrival of Nicholas Copernicus, a Polish astronomer in the 15th century CE, who was the first to propose a heliocentric model based on observable data that he had meticulously collected. Copernicus observed that in order to explain the exact movements of the planets, it was necessary to add more and more spheres along which the planets moved. Copernicus noted that all of the planets, apart from the Sun, had the same annual movement and proposed that this movement might be explained by the annual movement of the Earth around the Sun. His hypothesis, that all of the planets revolve around the Sun, was further supported by the unique characteristics of the Sun, which gives light and heat to all the other planets. Therefore, it was likely that the Sun served as the center of the planetary system, not the Earth. His observations, of course, turned out to be true, but at the time, this was still not accepted since it challenged the authority of the Catholic Church which had upheld the geocentric model. Nevertheless, without Copernicus's brilliant mind and desire for discovery, we quite possibly would not have modern astronomy as we know it. Charles Darwin's theory of evolution has had some of the greatest impact of all scientific theories 
in the history of ideas. Prior to his observations and formulations of his theories, virtually all accounts of human beings were mystical or rooted in theology. Darwin's precise work shattered such myths and laid down the groundwork for a modern understanding of biology and life that had been unprecedented. Our understanding of human beings as animals that evolved from slow, incremental changes over time revolutionized how we perceive ourselves and changed how modern biological science has been conducted. Perhaps like no other scientific theory, evolution by natural selection has transformed the very roots and foundations of human society. Perhaps the biggest game changer of all because of its long-term potential was the discovery of DNA by James Watson and Francis Crick in 1953. They co-discovered the double helix structure of DNA, which stands for deoxyribonucleic acid and is the building block of life, containing within itself quite literally the instruction manual on how organisms are built and developed. All living organisms have DNA as their blueprint including, of course, humans. Prior to this discovery, Darwin had proposed a mechanism of a similar sort, but he was ultimately left to speculate and was eventually vindicated by Watson and Crick's discovery. Why DNA made it to number one here is clear. As humans advance, we will begin genetically re-engineering ourselves, and central to this will be a precise understanding of DNA, after which we will be forever changed. For more top lists just like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to check out our other lists. And thanks for watching, and thanks for learning.